And the wages of sin is death. Yes, I do. I do. Why, why are you so opposed? Because you're a great business. What? You're a great business. I'm not asking for money. You sell eternal life. I'm not asking for money. You don't even know me. I'm here preaching Jesus. I money. I got to donate to your church. No, you don't. Why are you judging me? You don't know me. I know more than you do. You don't know you don't know the littlest bit if you don't know Jesus. I think you could get make $1,000 today, and if you were to die tomorrow and end up in hell, you know, what would it matter? <laughs> it's so sad. People live their life with so much pride that they don't even give God a moment time. See, if you let God's love in, He'll change your life. He'll change your life. He'll change your life. God's love changes people's lives. But it all comes down to what will you do with Jesus? What will you do with the cross? There's going to be a day where each person dies, has to give an account to God. The Bible says it's appointed unto men and women once to die, and then the judgment. It's appointed unto men and women once to die, and then the judgment. So today, are you right with God? Have your sins been washed, not through church, not through a priest, but through Jesus? Have your sins been washed through what Jesus did on the cross? Have your sins been washed at Calvary? We're calling people to this word repentance. It's a change of mind, a change of heart, a change of action. You know, the greatest need everybody has is to have an encounter with Jesus, to have their sins forgiven by Jesus. There's so much in this world that's built on lies, but Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the truth. So he's calling you today to embrace the truth, to receive the truth, to be changed by truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, that no one can come to God apart from him. Jesus is the only way to get to God. So today we're calling people to repent and to turn to Jesus, to put their faith in Jesus, to be changed by God. It's something that God freely offers. We just have to let him. We just have to let him. Have you guys done that? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Today's a good day, friends. Today's a good friend. So look to the cross. Guy right here leaning. Look to Jesus. He's the answer. He's who you need. Everybody needs Jesus. Everybody needs Jesus. Without Jesus, there's no hope. Without Jesus, there's no love. Without Jesus, there's no sanity, actually. This world drives people crazy. But Jesus Christ brings freedom. Jesus Christ brings healing. Jesus Christ brings deliverance. And it all comes through putting your trust in Him. Putting your trust in Him. Put your trust in Jesus today. Put your trust in Jesus today. It's a choice. Don't put half your trust. Put all your trust. Put all your trust in Jesus today. He's the only way to get to God. His love is the only thing that can cover sin. Good deeds can't cover sin. Good attempt at living can't cover sin. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. Yes, I do. I do. Why, why are you so opposed? Because you're a great business. What? You're a great business. I'm not asking for money. You sell eternal life. I'm not asking for money. You don't even know me. I'm here preaching Jesus. I got to donate to your church. No, you don't. Why are you judging me? You don't know me. I know more than you do. You don't know the littlest bit if you don't know Jesus. I think you don't know anything either. Why? Why? Because you don't know. Tell me. Why? Why? Okay. Sorry about that, sir. You may be right, but probably not. I am right. I am right. I'm preaching Jesus today. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Jesus is the answer. Yeah. Jesus is the answer. He's the answer. Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. He's the answer. He's what you need. He died on the cross for your sin. He rose from the dead. Without Jesus, there's going to be a day for each person where they die and appear before God. And without His blood covering your sins, without putting your trust in what He did for you on the cross, there will not be any way to escape hell. But God is willing that nobody perish. Have you given your life to Jesus, sir? Yes. Is he the Lord of your life? Absolutely. Praise God. You see, the way to escape God's judgment is through his love, and his love is demonstrated on the cross. 
Did you know that guy right here, Jesus demonstrated his love for you on the cross? Right here, he did, but you gotta receive it. You gotta receive it. So often people in life, they, they say, oh, I want, to, I want God, but I want the world too. The Bible says that you can't love this world. And I don't mean people, but you can't love this system. You can't love this world or the things of this world. If you love this world, it's gonna, that love will keep you from loving God. You know, when people love sin, it will keep them from God. There's this expression. Yeah, but there's only one based on truth. See, the issue is either sin will keep you from God or God will keep you from sin. The Bible talks about being born again, that we got to be born again, not, not through religious adherence, not through going to a priest and confession, but the way that somebody's born again is by being cleansed of their sin through the death of Jesus Christ. The way that somebody's born again is through the Spirit of God, God's very own Spirit. So today we want to encourage you. We want to encourage you to look to Jesus, to look to Jesus and to live, to find life in Jesus, to reject lies. You know what? He carried the cross for us, so we didn't have to. Well, the Bible says we got to carry our cross, actually. It says, if you want to be my disciple, you must deny yourself, take up your cross and follow me. Whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for the sake of Christ, if they give up their life for the, for the truth, for the gospel, they'll find real life. So today, look to Jesus, guys. Look to Jesus. This is a sign. God is real. He's calling you. He's calling you to know him. He's calling you to be forgiven. He's calling you to experience his love. His love is experienced through the cross. There's no other way to really encounter God's love than through his death on the cross. I saw you yesterday. What's your ministry? Do you have a track? Yeah, we do. What's that? And earlier today, right? Yeah. Do you believe oh, wow. in Jesus? Beautiful. Is he the Lord of your life? But I believe in him. <laughs> the demons believe and they tremble. I don't believe in that. I know, but the demons believe God is real and that Jesus really died for sin, but they, they're not changed by it. How, how far are you walking? Uh, we're going to walk back, right back. Why? Oh, God, I was you, wondering if you're walking across the country. Or... Oh, no, just uh, <laughs> just for the event. That's awesome. Yeah, what's your name? JB. I'm, I'm David. Nice yeah, to meet I'm you. Christian. Are you in the I, area? I believe Jesus is my Lord and Savior. I'll be with him. Be absent from the body, be present with the Lord. Amen. Where do you fellowship at? I have my own fellowship. Yeah? Ocean Air Christian Fellowship, Sunset Beach. Oh, wow. The website, we promote different. Get on, brother. Here, let me check. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did it go through? Yeah, JB. Yeah, JB. I'll send you my yeah. email. Then you can, I'll send you a link to my website. Too. Great. You guys can be my featured ministry. Oh, Sounds good. good. All right, guys. Okay, so what's what's holding you back from God? From like total surrender, total control. I'm working, bro. I can't get into it. I know, but nobody, nobody right now. This is more. Okay, you could get you could get make a thousand dollars today, and if you were to die tomorrow and end up in hell, you know what would it matter? See, the only day that we have is the day we're living. The moment we have is the moment we're living. And Jesus, his death is worth giving everything. For, I mean, the fact that we're such bad sinners and Jesus would die for us. I mean, you know you're a sinner, right? Man, I'm just trying to work here, bro. I'm not, okay. You know, I think God's calling you, though. What you doing, man? What's your name? John. John. John, I believe Jesus is calling you. Thanks. Like, respond to him. Because there are consequences when we... The devil is there when God is calling and we don't respond. Man, the devil's there to slam you in ways that you never thought would happen. So, I, mean, I care about you, even though I'm just meeting you. I'm sure I'll see you throughout the time. For all you know, God sent us uh, from Arizona to talk to you. Yeah. Oh, other side? Yeah. Whoops. Switch side. Look to Jesus, guys. He's the answer. He's the answer for life. No matter how old, you gotta look to Jesus. No matter how young, you gotta find find uh, freedom in Jesus. Because we all sin, we all fall short of God's glory. What's that? Thanks. The Bible says, "For God so loved the world that He gave, that He gave His only Son." So the question is, what will you do with this gift that God has given? God gave his only begotten son, Jesus.
Jesus Christ, fully God, fully man, to die on the cross for your sins. He rose from the dead three days later. For God so loved the world, he gave. He gave his only son that whoever, that means you, that means anybody, whoever believes in him, no matter your past, no matter how much sin you have in your record, Jesus gave his life for you. The Bible says it's simple to be forgiven. It's very simple. You just have to put your trust in God instead of yourself. It's turning away from unbelief to belief. See, the biggest issue in each person's life, there's two major sins, pride and unbelief. When people are proud, they can't accept help. When people have unbelief, they choose to reject God. Those are the two biggest things that keep people from God. All, all other sin actually is rooted in those two things, pride and unbelief. So today I want to tell you about how God's love can break the power of sin in a person's life. What Jesus did on the cross can break the power of sin in a person's life. What Jesus did on the cross can actually set you free. Set you free from yourself. A lot of times people are in bondage to a lot of mess inside. You know, people have a big mess in their life. And everyone's trying to pretend like they got it together. But most people don't really got it together. Most people are really just struggling inside. So look to Jesus, guy right here with the camel backpack. No <laughs> you got to find Jesus. You got to let him find you. You know, everybody has to let themselves be found. You know, the lost get found through Jesus. You know, when everybody's going their own way, they get lost. When you go God's way, you, you're headed towards life. So I want to encourage people that see the cross today to consider the life that God has for you. God has a life for you. And the devil wants to get you to trade that life away. Do you believe in Jesus, man? Is he the Lord of your life? He's got to be Lord. See, a lot of times people want to believe in God, say, okay, I believe in God, I'm good with God. No, if you believe in God there's, and Jesus, there's going to be real fruit. Jesus talked about people in Matthew 7. He said, there's going to be many people on the day of judgment that say, Lord, Lord, did we not do these many mighty things in your name? And he'll say, depart from me, I never knew you. So it's not about just knowing about God. It's about knowing Jesus personally. Sir, right here. Do you know Jesus personally? It's the most important choice a person could make to come into a relationship with Jesus Christ. Sure it does. Yeah, but Jesus carried your sin. What are you going to do about that? But does that take away your sin? It doesn't. The only thing that can take it away is you really surrendering to God. Oh, other people, hey. He's the only way. Tell me the truth, the only life. Amen. Amen. Only through Jesus. Only through Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. God's calling people to Him today. Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Let your life be changed. Let your life, life be touched by Jesus. By Jesus. Did you guys know Jesus is real and he's calling you? Jesus died on the cross for the sins of the world. God is calling everyone everywhere to repent and to believe. To repent, to turn directions, to change their heart, to change their mind about God. Today's the day. Today's the day. Praise God. Praise God. Amen.